Right, we're back. This one. Oh my god, this one. Today in Victoria 2 is what I like to call spicy. There is no more spice in this land that we could possibly spice this up with. Unless we re-establish the Dutch East India Company. And then, just then, I think we might be able to top it. Okay, hello everybody, my gravy babies. And welcome back to Victoria 2, a Heart of Darkness HPM mod. And today, I've done something that's been requested quite a few times, actually. Right, so I've gone ahead and done the painstaking process of creating a save somewhere around here. Where I've actually released every nation. Now, there are a few that I haven't released, because I <laughs> specifically... <laughs> At this point, when I was working at uh, the Broken Up Archery, I was like, okay, maybe we, maybe that's enough about now. Uh, but yes, I mean, there's like one, two, three, four. There's like, there's four Polands right now, okay? That's, that's too many Polands. But yes, I've gone ahead. I've released a whole bunch of nations, the, as, as many as I could possibly do. We've even got the East India Company, which took a little bit of work to get going. Uh, unfortunately, a few nations I can't spawn in yet, like South Africa and the, uh, the CSA, but they will spawn on their own eventually anyway, so we're not going to worry about it. But yeah. This doesn't even look like an EU4 level of cancer, by the way. This just looks like someone quite literally puked up a bag of Smarties. That's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, I, I've had a thought about who I should be playing as, and uh, I, I think I know who it's going to be. And uh, I'm not happy about it, but it's going to have to be one of these four Polands, isn't it? All right, now, playing, playing as Poland is usually pretty bad because everyone around you wants to kill you. But hopefully this time around... Um, well, considering Russia doesn't really exist, uh, we might we might be okay. Uh, now, I, I just tested something out. Uh, if, if you give yourself 20 prestige, you can go ahead and reform Poland. And I just wanted to check that quickly in case anything crashed, because there are four Polands on the map right now. And technically, if we count the old Poland that was there, there's five Polands now. But yes, usually the game for Poland is very hard. Um, hopefully, this time around, uh, Poland will be able to prosper in the madness that is Europe right now. Oh, okay, the game is definitely feeling the extra 50 countries on the map right now. It's, uh, it's not handling it too well. Oh, um... Also got quite a quite a few wars going on right now too. Uh, everyone's everyone's kind of uh, <laughs> at each other's throat. Why did I just annex that one Poland? What the hell? Uh oh. So uh, whilst we got that one country for free, I'm assuming because they were the same culture as us and whatnot, uh, we we definitely won't be getting this one for free. Does it cost me? Uh, yeah, 21 in for me. But uh, we we really need access to the sea to um, get anywhere really today. Oh, okay, two things. I just noticed that I got a uh, free castle spelly on Galicia down here, which is absolutely perfect. And second of all, I got myself a new best friend. Okay, this is going to be a, a risky bisky move, but I could declare war on Krakow and call Russia in, who will join. But they are still guaranteed by Austria, who has kind of sausaged their way back towards me. Oh. Uh, Austria didn't join. Okay, well, that wasn't risky at all then. Right, um, this one's, this one's gonna be a bit of a save scum, because there's no way in hell I'm gonna get five infamy for this war goal on the first try. Right, so after only save scumming once, uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take Silesia. One, because it has a whole bunch of Polish people living there, and two, it's got a whole bunch of good goddamn resources. And, uh, if, if you don't know much about Victoria 2, um, good resources is, uh, what's gonna keep you in the game. Uh, I can only uh, pray for the day I can actually invade a country without having to mobilize my, my entire population. Oh, I just realized I have serfs. <laughs> I'm sending the serfs in. Oh my god. Ah, that's a pretty big dong. Right, so after Silesia being annexed, uh, we we're looking pretty good on the map. But that's probably all we're going to be able to take for a while now. Uh, we're actually going to have to... Do some Vicky to economics now and try and make our country uh, somewhat stable and uh, functional. And uh, thankfully, Silesia is going to be exactly what we need to kickstart our economy. Hold on a sec, Latvia. That's a good flag. How'd you, how'd you come up with that flag? I think... I think I might borrow that flag. Oh my god. Okay, so quick update on Europe is uh, Sardinia Piedmont is just going ham over here in Northern Italy. They've already actually taken out the coast of Croatia too, which is, um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how they managed to do that. Oh, okay, hold on a second. I'm about to lose a core on Ukraine that I wasn't aware I had. So, Russia, will you join? 
Russia will join. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now we we can only really hope that I just straight up don't die here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not going too bad. Uh, Russia's. Uh, hold on, those are some pretty big Ukrainian armies. Russia, you are, you, you okay? Oh, there we go. Uh, only bankrupted my country a little bit, and uh, my country's. It's kind of looking pretty terrible, but you know what? I like it. Um, so I also went ahead and I turned on crises from the start, by the way. So usually, um, crises don't kick off until 1870 in base game, I think. But, uh, this time around, yeah, they're starting all the time. And, um, I don't know what this is about. Crisis of the Return of Ukraine's rightful terror. Is this about me? Oh, that's right, just uh, asserted my uh, Polish dominance all over those Austrians and Ukrainians and totally didn't win because the UK joined my side. <laughs> Maybe. Oh gosh, I, I just realised Italy formed, but um, you, 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 can't, you kind of missed a couple of spots there, really. Oh, okay. I didn't know I had claims on Belarus too, but um, oh no. Okay, this one might be a bit... This one might be a bit difficult to do. Ah, uh, okay. Everyone but Russia and Lithuania would join, but uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna help me in a war against Prussia and Czechoslovakia. So um, maybe maybe if Russia changes their mind, maybe. Oh, we did it. We've reached great power along with. Uh, actually, that's not that surprising. It's pretty normal. Uh, UK, France, US, uh, Russia, Austria, Italy, Prussia. And Poland! <laughs> right, so, uh, Poland's doing pretty well right now. I just finished off taking a little state from Czechoslovakia, because I realized I still have some calls to take. Uh, I actually have one on Danzig, too, but they're, um, currently in Prussia's sphere, so, uh, not gonna prod that bear just yet. Hopefully this isn't gonna cause a giant conflict later on in life that, um, is probably gonna kill, you know, a couple million people, just, you know, maybe one or two. Yeah, I don't know. Right, so ever since I became a great power, uh, Russia doesn't want to be my ally anymore, so instead, I'm allied to Italy. Please send help. Oh dear lord, do I want to get involved in whatever the hell- nope, 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 nope. Right, I- I may have just done something. I may- I may have just done something, um... I'm just, I'm just giving I'm just giving Bohemia just a big hug. That's what's happening. So uh, I realize now that I've got the nationalists in control, I can uh, I can claim the eastern territories, which gives me a e even more claims. So we, we also got a whole bunch of cores on Ukraine, and uh, we got some on Belarus too. But the, the Ukrainian ones are um, I'm not going to touch them because they're scary. So I'm, I'm going to beat up Belarus instead. Oh yeah, those damn Belarusians, those. Those dirty slut the, the the borders are just <laughs> they're just <laughs> get so worse. So whilst America did manage to clean up all of all of the uh, America, um, except uh, the South, which they have lost, um, Canada is still an ungodly eyesore to look up. Oh, what, what even is a Quebec? Is that some sort of duck? Is that a type of duck? So, uh, whilst Europe is completely on fire, I went ahead and, uh, I, I built the Suez Canal. There's already 3% Polish people live in there. Oh, if you thought me, uh, absolutely hammering Russia into the ground as Poland was, uh, art, well, <laughs> wait until you see what happens next. Wait a second. Did Russia just get knocked out of great power by Scotland? Oh my god. That's both tragic. When both Russia and Prussia are not in great power, but Scotland and Belgium are. Oh my god. Anyway, the cursed thing I was actually on about was... Boom. Commonwealth to... Why? What? What? Why? What? What is... Oh, that's right. The Commonwealth is back baby and we're stronger than ever except for this one province that's just really it's triggering me so hard oh uh well 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 looks like my hungarian brothers need help against those pesky austrians and you know I, I, i'd be more than willing to uh you know mess up austria oh i found the source of the nile and i i can't call it lake warsaw so uh, as soon as i i peaced out with the austrians and uh well, Hungary lost this land, but I gave them back this land. Uh, guess who came and knocked him? It's the Russians! Thankfully, if you've ever played Victoria 2, you know the Russian AI 
can't quite handle offensive wars that well. There you go. The Polish Lithuanians have finally made it to Moscow. These these calls just keep popping out of nowhere because I didn't realize I had one for Latvia too. So um. I, I just I just got he, he, even more land off the Russians. Oh God. You, you can always tell when Russia drops out of Great Park because as soon after I, I just start seeing Scottish flags trying to out influence me in Romania. Oh there we go. Cursed cursed fact of the day. Twenty one percent of the people now living in the sewers are Polish. Oh my God. Hold on a second. Why do I I can centralize the Yemeni administration, which gives me Yemen. Why have I never done this? Oh, it's because Yemen's crap, obviously. Just as I was about to start my colonial empire, luck who turns up to spoil the party once again. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that, everyone? It's it's Polish, Lithuanian, Arabia. It's, um, it's pretty damn incredibly cursed. I think we're just gonna have to go ahead and admit it, and you know, say that I don't think I don't think Germany's gonna form this game, <laughs> especially since Prussia. Uh, it's still in my sphere. Ah, it's always a beautiful sight when you're seeing Russia get carpet sieged by Ukraine. The Ottomans sieging out Gotland for what the hell's going on here? Just another day, another invasion of Russia. Okay. I'm sorry, Denmark, but you've clearly had way too much to drink. You're going to have to go home. Oh, my lord. By, by George. <laughs> They're, oh, no, they've done it. Um, you know what? Ever since uh, Italy became a proletarian dictatorship. I don't know if I really want to be their friend anymore, so we're just gonna buy. Oh, that's good. Look at that. Mexico has gone ahead and researched banks. Nice one, Mexico! Oh, oh, oh god, no, following Belgium's persisting decline, the rise of Scotland has begun. I just realized that Russia has fallen so hard, they are now in the sphere of the Netherlands. The world is currently so messed up, there is four different people trying to colonize Papua New Guinea. Well, technically five. Um, okay. Well, we're, uh, we're back at war with Austria, and that's because Hungary, once again, wants some of their land back, and Austria is now an easy target. And uh, France and... Uh, wait, Australia's in this war. Wait, what? Australia's a great power! Great. We're, we're fighting World War One. Over... Oh, Hungary is actually trying to take Austria. Great. That's... <laughs> okay. Well, we're fighting World War One over Austria. And it's Poland, Lithuania, Ukraine, Hungary, and the Netherlands versus France, Austria, Bulgaria, and Australia. Perfect. I'm, uh, I'm glad this war is so uneventful. I had time to go off to Egypt and go find Tutankhamun. That's, that's perfect. You know what? Maybe if we're lucky, I can uh, stick him down an artillery piece and fire him at the French. Right, it's gonna be the uh, the most cursed piece still in the world, but um, I took Western Australia. <laughs> right, the year is 1897, and I think we have done enough in this game. The world actually managed to clean up quite well. I was very surprised that the North German Federation not only actually formed, but they're also eating up the rest of the German lands one by one. Pretty impressive, won't lie. Other than that, the great PLC blob is doing great. We never did get this one province, it just because, you know... I'm not going to waste 11 infamy on Elbing. Instead, we managed to spread our uh, great PLC blob across the world. We got it. We got Africa, a very big chunk of it. We got Madagascar. And most importantly, we got Western Australia. We also got New Zealand because New Zealand never colonized the rest of the island. So I, um, I just snaked on in. Uh, but yeah, it was a very interesting game. I very much like uh, messing and playing and prodding Victoria 2 just to see what the game can actually handle. So I think I'll do a few more episodes like this just to keep messing around with the game. And for the final scores, um, oh, Scotland's not a great power. Neither is Australia anymore. It's just uh, plain old Italy. Although France has been knocked all the way down. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more. And uh, I guess this is Bye. <laughs> Bye. Are oh, you still here? Bye!